What's up guys, Simplistic here, back with another video. If you couldn't tell from the title, this is a, a video explaining my assassin build and, um, you know, basically discuss the gear that I have, the stats that I've put, and just tell you about my overall assassin build and how I like her. Uh, I would like to mention that this is my first assassin that I've made uh, since playing the regular game, and I've only made that assassin up to like level... 40 or something so this is definitely a new character for me like I promised myself that once D2R came out I'd play one of these classes that I, I'm not too familiar with and before I even started it I watched Cooley's video and he said to start an assassin because it's easier to farm certain areas such as Nithalak and all that stuff so I feel like I should mention that but let's just get into the stats I have enough strength to put on all my gear none on dexterity and the rest on vitality I have a pretty decent amount of life even without items 1200 is pretty pretty decent um, my resistances aren't that great but uh, at least they're not all negative right so let's just go over some of the gear I do have my heart of the oak I made this myself thank you very much I have a shako I traded my zod for this which I probably got ripped off, but I don't. I didn't care. I need a Shaco, uh, a not so good trap uh, amulet, but still, it's all right. Spirit shield with 32% cast rate. Shadow dancers that I found myself. I believe the first week of playing D2R, rolling a two shadow disciplines. I really like this because it boosts my shadow master, and yeah, my shadow master has about. 1400 life and resist all 75% so definitely can tank some certain mobs and I could just like you know put my traps on and just throw a fire blast on them and then we got treachery which I kind of like kind of like and kind of don't like because it's a bitch to like repair and also the fade uh, inter intervenes with my burst of speed so every time it turns on I have to turn back on burst of speed that's a bit annoying, and I'm just waiting until I get Enigma. Uh, and then we got Mage Fist to get that boost on that Fire Blast. We got some faster cast rate rings with 78 to mana, 21 to life, pretty good. Arachnid Mesh, Dwarf Star, you know. Uh, Geeds, Trap GC, Shadow Disciplines with 31 life, Magic Fine, life, Magic Fine, life, Magic Fine, life, Torch. And uh, yeah, this is my build here. Uh, pretty much, I can clear anything that I, any of the farming places, you know, Arcane Sanctuary, Curist, um, you know, everywhere. You know, Pindle, Eldritch, Shank, Mephisto, all of them I've, I've been able to do without a problem. Countess, Pits. Um, so with Hell, and especially with Elemental characters, you're gonna have to have two elements and my elements is fire and lightning as you can see my lightning sentry is about 6k damage with my fire blast almost at 4k so I pretty much can take on any monster uh, within a few hits it's definitely not bad you know you can't just depend on lightning fury you know it's just it doesn't work you know and I do have death sentry too so let's just go over my uh, skills martial arts none then we got Shadow Disciplines, we got one, one. Um, I've seen some people put a lot of points on here. I, re I really just put one on here and just let my uh, items bring it up. I did put, I believe, four on Shadow Master just to increase it to make it a little bit more stronger and tanky for, you know, stuff. I do have maxed Fire Blast. I don't have maxed Shock Web. Uh, because, like I said, I want to have two elements. If I were to just done shock web, my fire blast would not be as strong as it is. Uh, charge bolt, uh, I maxed that out. Lightning sentry maxed out. Death sentry maxed out. And I put one on these just so I can get a synergy on this. Um, and it didn't really add that much. I would think that, you know, once I click it, um, 17 points and it would be like 17 times it increased by 9% but it only increased by like 100 damage so it really wasn't that much um, but you know I'll take 100 damage right so basically that's my full build and like I said I've been able to do Mephisto and Dario uh, 
Duriel, Arcane Sanctuary, Curse Bazaar, um, World Stone. I, I really don't have an issue with any uh, any farming place. And yeah, I just wanted to show you my build. A lot of these Diablo 2 content creators have been showing their builds lately. And you know, why not me? So that is my build for my assassin. So yeah, just to finish off my build, I would need a Enigma and probably a Maras and pretty much I'd be sent maybe an SOJ. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one.